Hi everyone, it's Envis here. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you quickly today about Safmat, which is a self-adhesive printing film and to my mind is one of the most fantastic products to come out of the letter set stable laboratory. And it's absolutely wonderful, not just for sentiments. If you scrapbook, you can actually layer journaling on top of photographs. If you do card, you can layer the sentiment over your elements and it's totally transparent. Today I've printed out some patterns onto uh, saf mat and I've cut it into strips and I'm going to be using it as washi tape. Now you know how expensive those little rolls of washi tape are. This way you can make up dozens of strips. I've, I've used the polka doodle CDs um, which actually has pages of borders already printed but you can copy and paste different pattern papers you can pick up pattern papers off the um, off the web for, for free if you look and just print them out and you're ready to go uh, so to show you the sentiment I've cut a 6x6 six six card down to 4.5 inches wide and that means that I can hang a large element off the side of the card and it'll still fit into the envelope and I've printed a, a sentiment that says snowflakes are winter's butterflies on the computer and I'm just putting it right down onto the base of that card panel and I'm going to burnish it with, it's a rub-on stick, you could use a craft stick, uh, anything flat, a bone folder would do the trick and as you rub it uh, the film becomes invisible against the paper so your sentiment can be laid in this case I've just literally put it simply onto the card but you could lay it on top of a snowflake for instance you could you could layer it on top of all sorts of elements and whatever is underneath would still show through I've used some I've die cut some very large snowflakes from Fiskars Fuse <coughs> which I'm going to pop onto this panel and I can hang this one off the edge because the um, the card will still fit into the envelope and I'm going to lay this next one down flat I'm just going to glue it down flat against the other side of the card and trim the excess off I've die cut a couple of smaller snowflakes. They were done with a Sizzlitz die out of white cardstock and I'm just gluing those direct onto the card base. And you can see that because the sentiment is already there you can actually glue things on top of the edge of the, um, the saf mat. It's not raised in any way so it doesn't interfere with your design process at all. So just going to add a few tiny little uh, crystal gems to the snowflakes to add a bit of sparkle. We all need sparkle at Christmas. And then I'm just popping some foam, foam pads on the back. To, uh, to raise the panel up just a little bit from the base card to add a little bit of, of dimension. I'm putting plenty of foam pads on because uh, otherwise you tend to get a little bit of a, a dip in the, in the middle of the card and uh, it's, it's worth the extra pad or two to, uh, to make sure that that doesn't happen. So there we go, a sentiment that's perfectly integrated with the card, doesn't interfere with the design of the card in any way and the possibilities for card making are endless. Now for this next one I've cut the grey um, 
paper that I showed you into strips and I've peeled them off and you can see that I've put some strips of um, of the tape down as washi tape. I've also pressed some Versamark onto some silver paper and I've die cut a leaf out of that. I heat embossed it in silver and I think this would make an absolutely wonderful silver wedding anniversary card or oh, indeed a wedding card. The grey, you can see that the grey washi tape saf mac looks um, so elegant and translucent against the white card background. So I just uh, stamped a flower, embossed it in silver, cut it out and popped a pearl in the middle and that makes a lovely focal point. Now I printed a sentiment out, it says uh, best wishes on your special day, onto Saf Mat, and then I just layered that on top of one of the silver embossed, um, heat embossed uh, paper that I'd handmade and the saf mat just goes on perfectly over that silver and of course this, all the silvers on the card match perfectly which I think is quite important really it adds to the professional and finished look of the card and to finish it off I've just punched some tiny hearts with a cheap little heart punch and I press those into a, a Versamark pad a sticky embossing pad and sprinkled it with the same silver embossing paper and I've heat set the little hearts and I'm just going to attach those to the front of the card as a finishing element. I'm sorry about the shadows I was filming this in the evening and the yeah, the light really was in the wrong wrong direction. I used a, a quick sticks but then I discovered that it was really quite easy to just pick them up and do it with my fingers. So I'll have photos of um, and this card and some others on the on the letter set blog that's um lettersetblog.com so go along and take a look and do try this product i really can't recommend it highly enough it's um your imagination will know no bounds with it thank you for watching today bye bye